Uh, our team is special this year because we have a lot of seniors on the team. We have six seniors and we normally don't have that many. And then we have a bunch of sophomores, so it's like a big group of seniors and a big group of sophomores and we like we mesh really well together. I think the team's really special because we've gone through a lot, especially this year and even in like the hardest parts of it, like we've been able to come together and make it through the team. I play shortstop and as a senior I'm technically one of the captains, one of six. Um, we re I guess we represent like leadership. Um, I'm one that, I'm a vocal leader um, and so I kind of just uh, tell people how to do something. I like to teach others like to correct their things something that's wrong and try and help them find a better way to do something. I'm a pitcher and I play second base as well, but I'm a senior this year and so my part was to kind of be a leader on the team and I kind of took that to heart because I wanted this to be a fun season for all the girls because I've been on a team where it's just kind of been dreadful and the seniors have kind of sucked the life out of the team, but I feel like this year was strong and we had some good times. I'll always remember, I think it was my sophomore year, yeah, um, when we won the region and we won the district and our region win um, to secure the, our region, like us being the number one was uh, against St. James and that was probably one of the best feelings and then um, to go on to districts and also win districts was a, a great accomplishment as well. That was definitely our best year. I'll always remember the players and and like how close we got through every season and how each and every year we just got better and closer as a team and as friends. Okay, so Lydia and Nicole dropped a ball and both went to pick it up and they both hit each other's heads and then like looked at each other and laughed about it and then go down to pick up the ball again and bumped heads again. Coach Hodge in the middle of a game screamed at us to get off the field and it was only the second out and no one knew what to do. So every girl on the team has different personalities and like we all come from different groups of friends but somehow we make it work that we all like we all became such close friends and we all mesh really well and I think that's what helps us win games because we're we've all gotten so close and we like we accept everyone's different personalities. My teammates are interesting because we have a whole bunch of different kinds of girls on the team and they all have different positions as well but they're all equally as important on the team. Uh, they're great girls and I've had a great time playing with them and I wish the girls that are younger than me the best of luck and the girls that I'm graduating with the best of luck in the future as well. Our coach is he's very energetic. Um, he kind of like lights the fire underneath us to get us going. Um, that's Coach Hodge and then Coach O'Brien. He um, he's more calm about things. He has a different way of approaching the situation rather than Hodge. And I think it's nice to have like two different, two diverse coaches, and they teach in different ways and you know approach you in different ways. And I think that's good because you know not everyone can learn a the exact same way as everybody else. So we have two coaches, Coach Hodge and Coach O'Brien. Uh, Coach Hodge is probably one of the most energetic coaches in our region or in our state. He's always jumping up and down if we get a good play or screaming, yelling at us in a good way. Uh, Coach O'Brien is really awesome too. He's always there for us. He brings us food all the time. He's like, he, I mean, he's really big into like keeping the scorebook and stuff, but he really pumps us up like in a different way than Coach Hodge. Softball is a really big team sport, and it's something that once you become a part of it, you don't you don't want to leave and become an individual. It's about being a team. So. I play softball because I just love the sport. I love the game. Um, I watch it if I'm not playing and when I'm playing then 
I put my whole heart into it and then I'll go watch some more if I'm not playing. It's just something that I've grown up around with my dad as well and I just really enjoyed the game and I study the game and the girls that I play with, I have a great time. Um, someone could play the game, I feel like, one, they definitely have to enjoy the game, but also it's a great way to meet new people and you figure out strengths and weaknesses, not only as an, as an athlete, but also as a person. Um, I'm going to Utah with college to play uh, the next four years um, there. I went there on athletic scholarship and yeah, I just hope to do well there. I'm actually really excited. Um, I love the coaches, I love the campus, so it's going to be a good experience. My future in softball, I hope to be playing in college, but no matter what, if I do or not play in college, then I'm definitely going to coach softball because I would love to be able to bring up a generation of girls that know the game as well as the generation of girls I've been on play with. Well, uh, before every game, we all the girls get together and we pray and we hold hands and um, we all have the exact same person we've been pretty much held hands with uh, since we started playing softball here. Like, And then after that, we um, go out on the field and we all clap up and um, I do a chant like, who are we, Soxie, who are we, Soxie, one, two, three, Braves. And um, I don't know, we've always done that, it, whether it's, you know, me or Maddie or the year before, like a different senior, and it's, I just really enjoy doing that. Something inspirational that my coach has said to me, and to the team as well, he always says that whenever you die, no one looks at the beginning date and the end date, they always look at the dash and he always asks us what we're going to do with that dash and I hope that everyone can live their life and when people look back they know exactly what happened during that person's dash and they can tell you what happened because that is whenever you leave an impact on someone's life.